I watched every Mr. Beast video ever in one year. This is not clickbait. I literally sat down in front of my computer and watched every Mr. Beast video on the main Mr. Beast YouTube channel. Now, obviously, you may be wondering, why did I do this? Well, there comes a time in every man's life where they ask a question. A question that might just define their era in such a way that it changes them forever. Such questions like, why did the apple fall down from the tree? What is the universe made of? How did life begin? Is time travel possible? My question, unlike the others, is as follows. What would happen if I watched every single video in a YouTube channel for a whole year non-stop? Now you may be wondering if I am okay and clinically not insane. I am okay. I just got curious. To repeat the fact of what I just said, the channel in question chosen is Mr. Beast, the main channel. Mr. Beast, also known as Jimmy Donaldson, used to be Mr. Beast 6000. Yeah, you know his name. Is one of the top trending YouTube channels these last few years. Being an advocate for PewDiePie and several Twitch streamers, he's most commonly known for making videos with flashy titles, clickbait, and even flashier thumbnails that show him either donating large sums of money to people or participating in outrageous challenges that involve the passage of 24 hours at most times, with such gems as anything you can fit in the circle I'll pay for, to I spent 50 hours in solitary confinement, to name a few. <laughs> Mr. Beast started his YouTube channel back in 2012, about the same time I actually started watching content on YouTube. At the age of 13, and we share a birth year, literally. He was born on May 7th, 1998, whilst I was born five months later, on October 31st, 1998. But this is not about me. This is about Jimmy's channel. Can I call you Jimmy, Mr. Beast? Is that cool? Cool. The channel, having been started on February 19th, has currently accumulated 8,767,309,065 views. It has 51.3 million subscribers and, as of the end of 2020, has 693 videos. Now, this is where the fun starts. In total, at the start of the year, it being 2019, December 31st, Mr. Beast had 652 videos. By the end, that is the end of 2020, December 31st, he had 693 videos total. Now this experiment started off as a meme. I literally had nothing else to do that year. So at December 31st, I set up my Dell and Spron 15 laptop to just watch Mr. Beast videos nonstop, 24 seven, 366. With me on December 30th, just putting every Mr. Beast video on his channel in the Watch Later playlist on my secret channel. I don't want subs on it, so I don't know. From the first one on the channel, it being worst Minecraft saw trap ever at the time of this recording, to the latest at the time, titled Important YouTube Announcement, please watch, and just hit play. I literally watched every channel, every video. Of course, on the first sitting, I watched the whole YouTube channel videos to get an idea. From the very first ones, like Harry Potter mod in Minecraft and Scary Pigskin, as well, Epic Minecraft Apartment Complex and Pokemon Online Battle Series, which I'm pretty sure lasted 10 videos. To such popular videos like, what is Crohn's disease? The many, how much does X YouTuber or celebrity make series and many more. But I can't lie and say I was here from the start. Sure. Maybe in the first YouTube channel I ever made, I could say I had watched one, maybe two videos of his at one time. But I can't look at you and tell you I know every little detail of every little video. It will slip me eventually. It won't stop me from being a fan, for sure. As the year went on and all that happened, well, happened, I was looking for a reason as to why I thought this would be a good idea. Why is this piece of content a good idea? Why would I subject myself to watching literally 227 hours, 15 minutes, 10 seconds, and 275 milliseconds of content? For the impossible odds of me getting clout? Maybe for a chance to make someone think. Why? Why would this stand and why would I do this? I think I have an answer for that. But first, let's answer a question I had at the tail end of this experiment. I watched every video on the channel, yes. 
but I had it play over and over in the year. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 366 days of 2020. As I stopped the experiment on December 31st, 2020. And by stop the experiment, I mean stopped playing the videos. So I took a calculation of the videos total up until 2020. In total, there was, at the end of the year, as said before, 227 hours, 15 minutes, 10 seconds, and 275 milliseconds of content. I converted that into seconds. So how much did the computer watch after me, including the time I watched? Well, I divided the amount listed prior by 366 days, all in seconds as I said, and you get about 38.42 times watched in 366 days. My computer's literally watched a whole lifetime of content in 366 days, 38.42 times. My devices, which by the way, was four laptops and an iPad, watched that amount of content roughly 38.42 times over, estimated 39 times. Also, anecdote time, it started about two months into the viewing of the many videos in the Dell laptop, it would just turn off. For no reason it would turn off. Turns out, a month later, it literally went into a boot loop. If I had evidence of this, I would show you. I did not record it, but trust me. Then I had my mom's laptop, an HP Envy M6 something, I can't recall. Watch it. Same thing, three months later. I had another one, an Acer Aspire 1. It also lasted three months. I also had a MacBook. That one did not burn out. Most of them did. It just stopped? Question mark? But it finished the race at the end of the year. Turns out I had to let it rest. As well, the other three laptops. But before it stopped, I had my 7th gen iPad sit through the tail end. Well, not the tail end. It almost close to the tail end. I just asked myself if I tried again on the MacBook if it could work. And it did. So lesson learned. Let your laptops breathe if you're going to use them to watch every video in a YouTube channel on loop for a year. Now to state the other thing learned on the making of this project, it's the process. Jimmy started off, as he has said many times, with very little. Working for a dollar a day salary to get a mic to make these videos, and he's gone all the way up to literally making content where all he wants is to give away money and at the end of his life be without cash. I wish I could be this generous too. You can literally ask my family. My aspirations include becoming rich to give to the poor and becoming president one day to lead the American people to a better life if I cannot live up to that standard. I don't pretend to be a perfect person. I bet Jimmy doesn't either. I learned by watching his videos there is a great incline in his talent of making content that he can get paid for to make people just a bit happier in the payout of course. Not just entertainment wise but money wise. I haven't made the calculations but he I bet he's given billions in cash to many people. I don't plan on making YouTube to make money. If I am ever blessed to do so, absolutely. I will, but only if I have fun. Mr. Beast did that so perfectly, and to answer why, to learn. All of this has been to learn, to make content better, but without sacrificing the thing that makes content creation fun, at least for me. I want this, at the end of the day, to be a hobby. And I hope I can help people with that. So with that said, I thank you all for watching. Also, if Mr. Beast is watching this video, I will do something Minecraft related in a live stream for 24 hours. But only if he watches. Lol. <laughs> Anyways guys, thank you all very much for watching. Be definitely sure to give this video a like if you liked it, comment down below what I should do next, and subscribe for more content. Also, yeah, I knew I said I was gonna make something big. I did not expect to think that the meme of me watching uh, Mr. Beast's YouTube channel on loop would be something that big, because I uh, wasn't exactly thinking that me sitting down in front of a computer was gonna be like the biggest thing ever. So, yeah. I had fun making it, not gonna lie. Every time I watched the computer stutter, I was like, oh, oh, 
Oh, because I know that the display is not showing the exact same progress as the machine is doing all the time in like the laptops that I have. But I also know that not all of the machines are uh, well suited for content watching. I recently had the HP Envy laptop uh, be completely reset. I changed it from having a hard drive to a solid state drive and it couldn't watch YouTube videos. I got it restored and I thought if I put it up to do a little bit more YouTube watching, it could survive and just didn't start playing. That's why I wrote it, it didn't, it, it just stopped. Most of the computers stopped. Like I still have them under my desk. They, they just stopped uh, doing their thing when it comes to watching videos. I started the year December 31st um, with the HP Envy. I woke up from my bed and I said, let's play. 9, 9, uh, 9 a.m. I think it was, I woke up, I put it to play, it kept going, uh, three months in, it stopped, and along with the other ones, they just all stopped, eventually, but the Mac could actually rest it, give out a little more. I was watching it on the iPad, and I just, I left it to play on the iPad, and I thought, why don't I just try the Mac one more time, and it could. I started playing it where it was playing. Uh, I paused the iPad until it synced up to where the video was at. And yeah, that's basically it. So not all the calculations in this exact video are rather perfect, but I can say they're perfect enough to be able to give you an idea of what, how much content I made on this this year. So yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Hopefully, it'll be the Omegle video. Bye.